Carissa Pavlika, TV fanatic. Okay, it's very nice to meet you, Gary. Great to meet you. Uh, being a TV fanatic, were you surprised today when it it had in the paper that the Emmys only pulled a four rating or four million people? Do you? Given what I know of TV viewers, no, not at all. Wow, that was uh, shocking to me. And maybe Masters of the Air will add to that conversation in the coming year. <laughs> With Wouldn't all that, the, be nice. I, okay, sure. Yeah, I, I'd like that. You know, and that's kind of leads into my first question: is culturally and industry wide, Band of Brothers in the Pacific are the gold standard for military productions. How does Masters of the Air um, continue that excellence and add to it? Well, that's up to you to decide. Um, you know, if we hit the target, if we did better, if we did all that, but uh, we sure took on uh, a bit more uh, of a universe in uh, the way the, the uh, fighting went on during World War II by getting up in the air. That was really, you know, the thing uh, for us was pulling that off, doing it uh, so you feel like you're flying with the boys, you know? It was achieved. Um, those scenes were mesmerizing. I, it was scary as hell and yet very inspiring. What was the key to bringing those to life? Well, really, uh, technology. You know, I'm sorry to say it's such a bland answer, but... You know, we had wanted to, uh, once we had the stories that we thought we wanted to tell in Masters of the Air, we still didn't think we could really pull them off. And so that became the real challenge, you know. We, we got a brilliant uh, visual effects supervisor, Academy Award winner in Steven Rosenbaum, and he really helped us, you know, form a... Uh, uh, formed the action up there and how to tell those stories up there because you know it, it was it was more complicated than uh, probably what we've seen of late do you think that the 10 year time that it took you to get this production out there actually worked in your favor in that regard oh yeah it had to you know that's the thing i don't i don't want to you know make any excuses for 10 years cuz we're slow we don't we don't move super fast you know and we make a lot of things and, and that stuff. And, uh, and you don't rush the story. You know, you let it bang around, get to where it's going to get to. Um, but uh, but uh, the, the main thing was, do we have the goods in the technology area to, to actually do it? You know? um, at the premiere, you probably had the best critics out there, the 100th bomb Bomber Brigade Veterans Group. I love you. What was their reaction? I got the nicest notes, and they were just like, everything was, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and you know, they got cold sweats. That I didn't really want them to hear that, that you know, that we put them back in, in the seat. But, but they, we did, according to them. And then one of them said, there's one thing you didn't get right. And, uh, and then he said, the bars weren't crowded enough. <laughs> That's brilliant. Right? Of course. Thank you so much for your time, Gary. I think people are really going to love this. Oh, thank you. So good talking with you. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.